Hey guys, Maria here, and today's video focuses on shoulder stand, but a supported shoulder stand, which I prefer to practice rather than the regular shoulder stand. So you will need a yoga block. To come into the pose, lay on your back on the floor with your knees bent about hip distance, feet about hip distance. Get nice and comfortable, let your back soften against the floor, let your arms rest against the floor. And what I'd like to do is to lift my feet about knee height or so, and then just to really just shake my legs around, shake my feet around, and let them land on the floor wherever they want to land, so just kind of plop down. Usually they will land about hip distance and at the place that they will need to be naturally for your body. So it's a good way to figure it out. No need to reach for your heels here, just let the feet be away from the hips a bit so your legs form an upside down V. Now take your block, whatever height you feel like using, you can use at the highest or lowest height. I'm going to start with low and place it underneath your tailbone. Now you don't want it in the middle of your back or in your low back. That's uncomfortable for you. It will dig into your spine. What you want to do is to make sure that it is supporting your hips, not your low back. So move it forward to under your tailbone, making sure that your hips are supported and that your low back is free. If you feel that you can go a little higher, you can go right ahead and turn the block to the medium height or even the tallest height, which can get a little tricky because it, it's unstable and you may lose your balance. So if you are going higher than the middle height, then just make sure that your block is steady when you lift your legs. So to come into the pose, send your legs up towards the ceiling and flex and point the feet. So what in the yoga world is referred to as pointing. So pointing and flexing. Legs are straight up directly from the hips. Notice if your legs are too far away from the hip area so that they are not coming into that 90 degree angle. You want them to be up a little bit higher so that the feet are directly over your hips. Continue to breathe there, nice and steady, engaging the legs, but letting your back relax, letting your shoulders and arms relax. You can close your eyes and stay here for a few breaths. Now this is a lot better for you if you have any issues with your neck or any issues with your shoulder, it's definitely a safer way to practice shoulder stand and still get all the benefits that you would from any other inversion, any other shoulder stand. And it's a very relaxing pose to be up there. Feel free to keep your knees slightly bent if you like or to straighten them if that's possible for you. And then when you're done, bring the feet to the floor Take a couple of breaths with your hips still supported on the block and notice how it feels to be there. Then lift the hips, remove your block and lower the hips to the floor. Once the hips are on the floor, you can swing the legs gently side to side. Let your back neutralize. Now take your hands, the heel of the hand, and place them on the front of your hip, on that hip bone, and really root down into the hip bone. And then take the palms and fingers to your thighs and push the thighs away from you. As you do that, create a little bit of traction in the low back. So this is a nice way to release the low back. And sometimes it takes a few tries before you actually feel it. So once again, it's the heel of the hands on the, th on the hip bone. Press the hands into your legs and push the muscle away from you and a little bit up. So that thigh muscle pushes in and up and get a slight tilt of the pelvis so you're taking the low back closer to the floor just a little bit so that you are creating that traction with the low back and a nice stretch for your low back. Which I like to do after an intense back workout or after doing shoulder stand. And then hug your legs in towards you. Gently rock your legs side to side, rolling your back on the floor. And then you can circle your knees one way a few times because it feels so yummy for the back. And then circle it the other way a few times. Awesome. Now bring the feet back to the floor 
and let yourself relax there a little bit longer. Then draw the knees back in, hands on your knees, elbows out to the sides, bending. Send the legs away from you as you straighten the elbows and bring the knees in towards you as you bend your elbows. As you move the legs away from you and towards you, notice the low back. Notice the arch in the low back, the lumbar curve, and notice as the knees come in, you round the back a little bit so the back presses into the floor. And as you send the knees away from you, you're creating a little bit more of distance, a little more space between your low back and the floor. So these are pelvic tilts, which really nice to set the back to neutralize a little bit more through the low back which feels great if you have any knee, uh, back pain or any need for anything for your low back because you did a lot of work or you just kind of need a little bit of a break. And then when you're finished, you can come back up to sit. So that is my video on supported shoulder stands. I hope that you enjoyed it and you got a lot out of it. Please subscribe, watch, like, share with your friends. I will see you next time with a brand new video.